The cell cycle is a process that cells go through to replicate. It has four stages, interphase, which includes G1, S, G2, and the mitotic phase, which includes prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. 90% of the cell cycle is spent in interphase. Within interphase is three separate substeps. The G1 phase, or first gap phase, begins as the cell begins to grow in size and double its organelles. Stop. Cell. The cell cycle includes three checkpoints. The first and most important checkpoint is after the G1 phase and checks a few things such as the cell being big enough and the DNA being correct. If a cell is not ready or is non-dividing, it enters the G0 phase. The G0 phase is an inactive phase that cells like brain cells and liver cells enter that do not duplicate. Then comes the S phase, or synthesis phase, where the cell replicates its DNA, doubling the genetic material in the form of chromatin, located in the nucleus. The final stage of interphase is the G2 phase, or second gap phase, where the cell becomes ready to enter the cell division stage. During the G2 phase, the centrosome duplicates, and the mitotic spindle, a structure of microtubules, begins to form between the two centrosomes. The cell is now ready to enter mitosis. Stop. Checkpoint. This is the final check before duplication. It will attempt to repair damaged DNA before it enters the mitotic phase. The first stage of mitosis, prophase, begins when the chromatin genetic material in the nucleus begins to condense into discrete chromosomes. Each chromosome is made up of two sister chromatids, joined together at the center mirror to form an X shape. On each side of the center mirror, the chromosome has a protein called a kinetochore, which essentially functions as a hook for microtubules later on in the mitotic process. Also during the prophase stage, while the chromosomes are condensing, the nuclear envelope breaks down. During prometaphase, the nuclear membrane starts to break down and allows the spindle microtubules to have direct access to the condensing chromosomes and to connect to the kinetic cores on the outside of the chromosomes. During metaphase, the genetic materials have fully condensed into chromosomes, and the chromosomes align at the metaphase plate. The metaphase plate is the plane that is equal distance from the poles and the meiotic spindles, which form a star shape at the centriole, specifically the aster. Stop. Checkpoint. The final checkpoint checks that all sister chromosomes are properly lined up and that kinetochores are attached to microtubules. Next is anaphase. In this phase, the kinetochore microtubules shorten, thus pulling apart the sister chromatids toward opposite poles. Anaphase ensures that each daughter cell receives an identical set of chromosomes. Then comes telophase, in which a nuclear envelope reforms around each new set of chromosomes in each daughter cell, creating two daughter nuclei. With the nuclear envelope to keep them contained, the chromosomes begin to decondense into chromatin. Finally, because their job of pulling the sister chromatids to opposite poles is fulfilled, the spindle microtubules break down. Cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm at the end of mitosis, specifically during and after telophase. In animal cells, a cleavage furrow forms, which is the pinched in part of the picture. The furrow pinches a cell until two separate animal cells with separate cell membranes are created. Cytokinesis in plant cells causes a cell plate to form. The cell plate then gradually creates a cell wall which divides the cytoplasm of the original cell and creates a new plant cell. Plant cells, unlike animal cells, will always remain in the spot where it originally divided, while animal cells have the ability to move around. I'm dead. I'm dead.